how to color correct a portrait using CMYK and math. Okay, uh, welcome guys to the first official episode of No Pixels Harm. Uh, we're gonna do this once a week at least, and so I hope you like this. Today we're gonna do a simple technique. Uh, we're gonna color correct the image um, based on the numbers of the actual color values uh, that we get you know, when we see the image in Photoshop. So uh, first of all, uh, I'm gonna have to talk about uh, the difference between RGB and CMYK for the purpose that we're using today. Uh, we normally work in RGB mode, and we know that RGB is for uh, red, green, and blue. And, but the way that we're going to measure those numbers is going to be in CMYK. Um, so we have cyan, magenta, yellow, and K is for Kelvin. Uh, we're not going to touch on that. Uh, we're only going to look at the actual colors. So we have red and cyan, and those are opposites. And we have blue, and, and, well, and next is green and magenta yes green and magenta and those are opposites and then we have blue and yellow and those are opposites as well what does that mean it means that if i want to add cyan then i have to reduce red and if, if i want to uh, add magenta then i have to reduce green or vice versa if I, if I want to reduce magenta then i have to add green and so on that's basically all, all you need to know for this purpose, on, on, for this technique, I mean. Okay, so let's go on the computer and see an image that needs color calibration. Okay, so this image, if you look at it at first sight, um, it, it looks fine, but I knew when I took the photograph that this was a white background. So this is supposed to go to a neutral gray, and it actually it doesn't go to a neutral gray. And we can see that if we go to the info panel window, I already have it open, but if you don't, go to window and then click here on info, and you're gonna see all this info that's gonna give you the color information. So if I hover on it and let's zoom into that, you'll see you see this RGB, and you see that the red and green are almost closer, and then the blue it's a little bit higher, it's 20 points higher than the than the green and the and the red. And so we know there's a small uh, bluish tint to the image. So what are we gonna do is we need to sample a point on the on the image on the skin to make us the reference. This only works on portraits. Okay, so let's I select um, this eyedropper tool, and then we press Shift to sample a point. And now where do we want to sample the point? Um, we basically want to sample in the skin on a place that doesn't have any makeup or that doesn't go really too much into shadow or into highlight. So you basically you select a midpoint on on, on the person's face. Uh, it's usually like around closer to the edges of the of the forehead or around the chin area um, if the person doesn't have facial hair of course. Um, so you just press and hold shift and then find a midpoint and then just click it and you see that uh, we have like a crosshairs thing uh, with the number one. If we go to the info panel here, let me zoom in again. Here we see we have these values and these values. These are gonna show you the color values of whichever place you're hovering your mouse, your cursor mouse uh, in the image. So they keep changing and changing because they're just showing you where you're at. This one, the, uh, it's frozen there and it's telling me the values of the place of the point where I sampled. Uh, and right now they are on RGB, and as it said, uh, we're gonna be looking at them in CMYK. So all we need to do is we click on this icon right here, and we change from RGB to CMYK color, and we get these percentage points. And let's see what do they mean. Uh, well, like I said, it's uh, cyan, magenta, and yellow, and how much of that color is on the image. Now there's a, a, a little formula that we use to determine the proper skin tone of the person. And this formula goes more or less like this. We have the value for magenta and yellow. Those are supposed to be almost equal to one another with the yellow being slightly higher than the magenta. So in here, if the photo was rightly color, color toned, 
and we will have magenta say it's 30 and yellow being 31 or 32 um, and it's no it's actually lower why is yellow lower because we have a blue cast and yellow and blue are an opposite so if we have more blue we're gonna have less yellow so that's why that's where our issue is um, resides mostly now the cyan it this is where it gets a little bit more complicated it's really not but this is where you have to think a little bit more um, in here it's this value it's supposed to be either one third of the magenta and yellow or one fifth between that range and for 30 uh, the value is going to be between 6 and 10 percent so any number between 6 and, and 10 is going to give us a good uh, calibrated image and right now we are at 18 so we need to change uh, reduce this again uh, to bring it down to where it's supposed to be and increase the yellow because we have blue cast so it's the yellow that we have to fix uh, and then fine tune it with the cyan how are we going to do it? all we need to do is open a curves adjustment layer so we can either go to layer and then new adjustment layer and then curves or you can go to the quickest way and just select this icon right here on your layers panel by the way I have my layers panel on the left side uh, it is by default it's going to be on the right side Anyways, um, so now we go to the curves adjustment layer and my adjustments are on the left side and here we have the curves and we have uh, the RGB curve which is going to give us all of the values and it, this is basically only going to change the lightness and darkness we want to actually change the color so we click on this drop down menu and we have the red channel, the green channel and the blue channel that's why it's important to know the opposites so we know which one to modify to add cyan, magenta or yellow and you actually don't have to memorize them uh, from the beginning you will memorize them eventually just as nature but if you're having trouble knowing which one is the opposite of which just look in here at the top of your info panel and you see that we have red and cyan the one that is straight across from one another those are the opposites so we have red cyan, green magenta blue and yellow so that's how we know which one's opposite of which okay so what we do is we got grab this little hand icon um, we select it and that icon what it's gonna do is whenever wherever we click on the image it's gonna modify that tone value that's on the image on, on that portion of the image where we where we click in so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the point that we sample at the beginning and we are gonna look at the values in here and then in the info panel and that's what we're gonna modify so we want to add yellow that means that we're gonna reduce the blue to add yellow so I go to the blue channel and then I make sure I have that selected and then I click and drag and I'm gonna drag down to add yellow and I'm going to I'm gonna go to 32 okay so we went from um, 26 to 32 now the magenta and yellow are what we're supposed to have really close to one another but yellow being a little bit higher now let's go to cyan and for that we need to go to a red channel because red and cyan are opposites and now we need to reduce the cyan by increasing the red channel so it will go like this we click and then we drag up to increase red thus reducing cyan and we're gonna go to 10 I'm gonna go to mm, let's see okay I'm gonna leave it at 10 now when we do that uh, we, it's normal that we change the other channel so we just need to go back and, and fine-tune now we have a little bit too much red but if we see we have magenta at 32, 33 and yellow at 30 so the magenta went up remember they have to be pretty close but the yellow being a little bit higher in this case by changing the cyan the magenta went up so all you need to all we need to do is go to the green channel and now we're gonna uh, reduce the magenta by adding a little bit of green so we go to 30 okay and I drag. so now I have 
um, 30 as the uh, magenta and cyan, yellow as, as the magenta, I'm sorry, as the magenta, yellow as uh, 32, pretty close to one another, yellow is higher, and the cyan ended up at 11. To be, the range to was from 6 precisely. to 10. So it was supposed to be between 8 and 10. I ended up at 11 and I like the edit. Now let's see the before. So that's the before. We have the blue color cast. The skin looks a little bit bluish. The background looks with the blue tint. With the fix, we neutralize the background and the skin now looks um, now looks with the right color. And the next thing that you can do is you can change this from normal to uh, color if you don't want to change the luminosity and it changes strictly the color and it doesn't change the luminosity but if the if the change that you did on the curves was too extreme then it might mess up with the colors so try both try changing the blended mode of your adjustment to color and to normal and see which one you like best i think i like mine in color because it preserves the luminosity of the image and that's basically it that's how you color correct a photograph a portrait using CMYK values. I hope you really like this tutorial. It's not a really complicated technique, but not a lot of people know about it. Um, if you wanna uh, get more of tutorials, just remember to subscribe, uh, that way you'll get notified. And if you wanna keep in contact with me, you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, my address will be right there. I don't even know what material handle is. Um, and subscribe and like the page on Facebook right now we have like one like because we just like I just opened it so uh, make sure that you like the page on Facebook and we're gonna post uh, we're gonna post the tutorials there as well and we might post also uh, written tutorials and don't go into YouTube because it's a written tutorial and um, anyways I hope you like this and I'll see you back next week